First edition of A Changed Man by Thomas Hardy, a presentation copy to Edmund Goss. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this uh, beautiful copy of the book. As you can see straight away, it's a bright, fresh, clean copy, um, essentially untouched. And inside here, we see on the first blank, the presentation inscription, which is from to Edmund Goss from Thomas Hardy, October 1913. I always like Hardy presentations because he's so careful about them, so he puts a full stop after his name and, and does this nice punctuation on the date again with a full stop, so he's very careful about it. Of course, there's a fantastic association. Edmund Goss is probably his closest literary friend. Well, um, Edmund Goss, best known for his book Father and Son, about his relationship with his Christian fundamentalist father, uh, himself adopted a rather paternal attitude to Thomas Hardy, although he was in fact, younger than Hardy, um, but he uh, praised him in print and was a close friend with him. And he's one of the few people to review Jude the Obscure favorably. And uh, of course, he carried his coffin in the, uh, he was one of the pallbearers for Hardy's funeral. And we see here the first edition title page. Um, this is Hardy's last collection of stories. Um, there we see the, the title page, A Changed Man, The Waiting Supper and Other Tales, concluding with the romantic adventures of a milkmaid, Thomas Hardy, and it's published by Macmillan, as usual, 1913. And it's published with this attractive photogravure frontispiece, showing a classic bit of Wessex scenery, the castle of my Dun. And... Uh, it's in the Wessex novels. It was issued as one of the, f the later volumes in the Wessex novels, but it's a first edition in its own right. And uh, a beautiful copy. As I said, it's, it's essentially untouched. It's, uh, it's been opened, so you see the um, slight paper marks on the edges where it's actually been opened for reading but other than that it is uh, in exceptionally good condition and it was in the famous sale famous collection you see here the book plate of Frederick Baldwin Adams Jr and he had a tremendous collection of um, Hardy in exceptionally good condition and this book is no exception there is a full description of this book and many other titles by Thomas Hardy on the Peter Harrington website.